Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is with a heavy heart that I rise today to adjourn in the memory of a San Diego civil rights champion, Morris Casuto. Morris dedicated his life working across the United States to confront some of the lowest aspects of human nature. He was born in the Bronx, was passionate about history and humanity, and studied international relations. He earned a Fulbright scholarship and worked in Indonesia before returning to the US where he learned of the Anti-Defamation League and took a job in their Washington, Indianapolis, and Columbus, Ohio offices. His son shared the story of how in 1973, Morris arrived in San Diego on a February day where it was sunny and had no snow and said, okay, we're not moving anymore, we're good. We're lucky he came to San Diego. There was so much work to do. Morris founded the local chapter of the Anti-Defamation League and immediately became the go-to voice in favor of tolerance and equality. Morris soon was appointed to the Integration Task Force to work on ending segregation in the San Diego Unified School District. He built relationships and alliances between the ADL and other ethnic and religious communities. He had no tolerance for hate. He never shied from representing the Jewish community, nor in denouncing injustice within any community, and fundamentally improved California. By every measure, Morris was outspoken, full of passion, and defined by courage. In his early years, he attended Ku Klux Klan rallies to better understand his adversaries, and was targeted explicitly by white supremacists for speaking out against their hateful rhetoric. After terror struck on 9-11, Moore stood up to help the Muslim community for the stress placed on their places of worship. In San Diego, Morris regularly taught law enforcement officers about the effects of hate crimes on victims and their communities and established a regional hate crime registry to help track and address incidents. He served on task forces and joined committees aimed at preventing and responding to anti-Semitism. Morris's passion for social justice forever changed the landscape of San Diego and made it a safer and more tolerant community for people of all backgrounds. We will miss but we will pass forward his bravery, his urgency, and his humor. Morris is survived by his wife of more than 50 years, Doreen, sons, siblings, and one granddaughter. Please join me in keeping Morris Casuto and his family in our thoughts as we adjourn in his memory today. Thank you.